Hey y'all, welcome back to the shop. This is Terry. Hey, we're on a talent project today, and uh, I, I'm really excited about this one. Um, it's probably most of you have already seen, we did the Jeep shifter boot uh, heat mitigation project inside the shifter hole, and uh, that's just a killer one. I, I'll, I'll link it down below, of course, um, in, the, in the description. And uh, that thing, man, it, it worked out great. Uh, we did some insulation on the bottom of the console as well. And uh, somebody, whoever you are, I couldn't, I couldn't find it again. So whoever, whoever posted this, um, thank you. But I, I saw this online uh, of another heat mitigation kit uh, from a company called Design Engineering Incorporated. And uh, they had, th I'm really excited <laughs> about this. So uh, let, let's talk a little bit about what Honda did. So up on the, uh, below the cowl, this is what Honda has in there from the factory. Um, I'm not really sure if this is trying to block air, trying to block water, what it is, but it ain't blocking much. So, and lots of us, it's upside down. Lots of us have um, done away with this and gone to something like this. Um, I bought this off eBay and uh, I like 20 bucks, 25 bucks or something. I know I, I've had it in there just about since square one. Um, I, I did trim off the bottom because I have the dual battery set up in there and we'll talk more about that later. But this covers up that entire hole and uh, it actually really helped. I mean, th this, th this helped a lot with keeping stuff from, from going back there. But this, this kit from, uh, from DEI is really just a whole different animal. Um, DEI, of course, I'll, I'll have links to everything uh, down in the, in the description, but uh, Design Engineering is a company that does heat mitigation of, of all kinds, like header wraps and just all sorts of things. I, I mean, th this is their deal. And, uh, and we all know, hey, these things get pretty warm on the inside, not as bad as some others, but um, if we can help it out, hey, let's, let's help it out. I'm 100% I'm for that. So kit basically has three pieces, so let's let's show you those. Uh, it's another shield to go where the other ones have come from, but as you can tell, this, this is a whole different deal. I mean, th th this is real heat mitigation here. And uh, with the ref reflectivity on the outside of it, um, this, this is the real deal. So let's show you how that goes shortly. And then this piece, I think this piece actually might be the uh, the key to the whole thing here, and uh, it, it, it's kind of it's kind of bent a little bit because, as, as most of you know, I, I I install all of this stuff pretty much uh, off camera and then come back. So because it helps if I know what the heck I'm doing whenever we make these videos. So I've already had this in there, and uh, I'll talk a little bit about this. Uh, I actually have the second battery kit in it uh, with the uh, the battery box up here from uh, Elite Side by Side, and I've had it in there for a long time, and that sort of interferes with this. Um, if you don't have that second battery, this is gonna be a really easy install. If you do have the second battery up there um, and a battery box that's, that's bolted in that position uh, between the radiator support and the cowl, then you're gonna have to take the battery box out. This will work with that battery box, so I'll show you how all that goes together here in just a minute. Uh, but this piece is really the one that, that intrigues me the most because this blocks off uh, the rest of that opening for the tunnel. So where this is only blocking off, no matter what you do here, this is only blocking off half of it or maybe not even so much. This is gonna block off almost all the rest of that. And, and this, this has, I, I'm not sure what's in the middle there, but I'm, the folks at DEI are sure I'm, <laughs> are sure, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, this, this is this is a very 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 interesting piece that they have here, and then this piece is actually going uh, behind the passenger seat, and you'll see whenever we get there that the factory has a piece of, of heat shield, just a sticky aluminum foil that stuck on there. I, I don't know about y'all, but about the third pressure wash uh, that I did on mine, that piece flew off, and it's been gone ever since. So this is, uh, and this is fiberglass in the center. Um, 
if you have some sensitivity to that, you might want to wear uh, gloves here because th this is true fiberglass insulation in the middle, and it and it is it is it has adhesive on it, so this is going to stick uh, onto the plastic behind the passenger seat and, and not only reflect heat and be some insulation, but is also going to cover up some of those holes um, that are in there that's letting a lot of heat through. So uh, they have great instructions. Have a uh, printed instructions and uh, with some really good pictures and very good instructions. You do need a couple of extra different push pins and a bolt and some stuff for this so they send all of that. The, this uh, protection sleeve we're going to cut in half and this is actually going to go on those radiator hose lines that are going back uh, from the radiator uh, to the engine and it's going to make for sure that whenever this, if, that this does not rub on that. So really good kit uh, you really don't need a whole lot of, of tools to uh, to put it together uh, like i said you do have one bolt here so a pretty simple deal we're going to take a push pin out of the passenger side floorboard and put this bolt in for that everything else is just going to be the regular push pins um, i didn't put my tool over here but sorry about that so just Everything else is held in with the regular push pins, so you just need a push pin tool for that. Where that piece is going behind the passenger, it is of paramount importance that that be extremely clean. So what I did is I cleaned that uh, a couple of different times with uh, Simple Green. And uh, any of you that have been around at all know that uh, I've drowned everything with SC1, so a really good idea to clean that with something that cuts that pretty well like the simple green does and then I finish that off with a couple of rounds of just regular rubbing alcohol to prepare that surface for that install of that adhesive back piece of insulation so uh, like I said I have links to everything uh, down below and uh, let me go ahead and get started on this install and we'll set up over there at the Talon and uh, show you how all this goes in All right, let me begin by saying, not the easiest place to work, and not the easiest place to get on video either, but we shall give it a try. Okay, so this is our piece, and this is the orientation that it's going to go in. So you're going to put it in this spot, little notches for that uh, clearance on that cable right there. And it's going to fit in here right below that panel and help cover up some holes here and uh, basically try to help our passenger out as best we can here. Now like I said this this is this is a uh, sticky and very so I'm not going to peel the whole thing all at once. Obviously I couldn't do this prior so y'all are going to see install number one here so I'm going to try it with about half of it peeled off I'm just going to work it in here. It is very sticky, by the way. All right, so you'll see there's a little line here. We're going to try to line up with that, get this stuck on there as best we can. I'm going to go ahead and peel the rest of this off now that I've got it in there. And we will work on getting it pressed down. So I'm gonna, I have lined everything up so we're just below the tabs on this panel, and it's going to be really important to get this pushed down really, really well in here around all of these little molded-in places. And uh, DEI definitely has some serious adhesive so I think we're going to be fine here and I'm sure that this will be much much better uh, than what the factory was like I said obviously the factory didn't stay stuck on there um, it, at least it didn't for me so maybe it has for y'all let me know in the comments um, I would if the factory one was still on there I would peel it off uh, before installing this, so all right, just gonna continue to get that all worked down. But that piece right there is really gonna help a lot. 
pretty much all there is. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna work it on down a little bit more and uh, set up at the other end, and we'll see how how the front installation. Goes. All right, so we're up at the front and got the rear, everything all smoothed down, stuck down well, and uh, ready to move on to the front. And uh, as you can see, I said the the panel that I had in there, the shield that I had in there is out. I do have the second battery, so I have the battery box and the true isolator and all that out of it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to install this lower panel. And the lower panel is it's rigid. You can mold it. Uh, it will need to be bent and molded a little bit to fit in this hole. Uh, not a problem to do that. Super easy to do. And it's going to attach. There, there's two. There's two push pins here. One there and one there from the factory. Now, in this installation, those are actually self-tappers self that are holding the back of the battery box in. And this will work with the battery box in there. I'll, I'll show you that when we get there. But um, if you don't have that second battery box, then they've provided some longer push pins, and you're just going to push the pins in there. And that's going to hold the top of that panel that's going to close up most of this tunnel down there. And, and it's cut, and th they have a perfect fit there you just have to it's flat when it comes and you have to form it where you, you'll see what we'll do here in just a second and then the other attachment point is right here you see I've, I've got that push pin already out and that that push pin just like these are actually in the passenger floorboard and it's coming from the inside out so you just pull it out from the inside and then there's a bolt a stainless bolt and locking nut that goes there and we're actually going to sandwich that panel down in between these two and then put the bolt in there. Very important that that bolt is just snugged up enough to get it up on the on the nylock part of the nut so it'll stay in there. You do not want to squash that insulation that's in between the two uh, reflective heat shields. So let me uh, let me get this in there and we'll return in just a minute. All right, we're ready to put our shields in there and uh, can see this is going to be the kind of general configuration shape that you're going to need these in you'll see when you get there that piece of protection for the hoses you just cut it in half and it, it sort of wraps itself around uh, those hoses and uh, it's just a little extra rub protection down there don't know that it even needs that but really nice for them to send it so just wanted to show you that before we got any farther. So uh, let me get this piece attached and I'll come back again. All right, with a little help from, uh, from Cheryl, we got that bolt in there. And uh, like I said, it's just snugged up enough. You can see, you do not want to squash that insulation. So it's just snugged up enough. And you can see how much more that's gonna, that's gonna cover up here. Um, I'm really excited about that. That's, see how much coverage you got. So that's gonna block a lot of this heat from coming in there and like i said if you have if you don't have this battery box then you would literally just put the top shield on there and show you they've sent these longer just regular push-ins to go in those holes and that would be all there is to it however with the second battery there's more so let me uh, i'm going to get the battery box back in there and show you how all that's going to fit together because I know a lot of you have the second battery, so uh, let me get the second battery. Let me get the battery box back in there and show how all that that there is enough room to make all that happen, and we'll come back again. All right, and install complete. And uh, I, I'm really excited about this. Uh, everything fit really well. I did have to trim off the bottom the way that I did before, uh, give it enough room to uh, to be tight down there. Just no other way that I could see with the with the battery box in there, but I trimmed that off. I did Gorilla tape it down on the bottom just to keep it tight in there. So really happy with how everything fit. Just, I think it looks really good. Uh, this lower piece, I, I'm really excited about that. Um, I, I just can't imagine that that's not gonna direct a huge amount of heat or keep a huge amount of heat from going back through that tunnel. So uh, all in all, really nice kit. And uh, We'll be testing it out in the next week or two, and I'll come back with a review video uh, to let y'all know how it worked once we can test it out. 
So as always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for subscribing, for hitting the, hitting the like button. It really helps us with YouTube whenever you do that. Uh, just so much appreciate, appreciative of everybody that watches and uh, everybody that subscribes to the channel. Hey, leave a comment below. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer those. And uh, just thanks again for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.